Um, I um, also, I have, sorry, Alex, I just wanted to follow up with one more. <laughs> but um, like, I, I wanted to know, um, you mentioned how it's 30 years between uh-huh. them leaving and them coming back. H- how do we, how do we figure that out? <laughs> oh, through some hardcore dedicated scientists. Um, so Cole Limpus, the guy I mentioned earlier, he's uh-huh. getting into his 80s now. So he's been around for a long time. He's a turtle himself. <laughs> um, and he did this research project back in the 70s and 80s where basically they tagged a bunch of hatchlings. Now, tags normally, I've actually got some tags. Um, so, like, this is a, a flipper tag for oh, an amazing. adult female. Oh, cool. So, kind of big. It's about, what, three or four centimeters long? Mm-hmm. And then this is yeah. one that you would put in a post hatchling. So, those head start hatchlings that I was talking about. After they're a couple of months old, we can put that tag into them. But a yeah. hatchling is not going to fit either of these tags because a hatchling mm. is almost as big as this. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so what they did instead was they found that if they took kind of like what looks like a hole punch, I think it's actually a leather puncher, um, but basically it cuts a very small hole and they would do it only on the very marginal scales of a shell of the turtle. <laughs> So, yeah, on these, like, (laughs) marginal scales, which are the ones that go along the edge of the carapace, they'd Uh only cut into just a little bit, kind of like a semicircle. And basically they called that notching. And the notches indicated what beach that hatchling was from, what year it was, and when that turtle would then come back either as a juvenile in the um, coral reefs or in Morton Bay, Kondamuka, um, uh, Cole would find them as juveniles or sub-adults and record how many years it's been because they had the notches that would code for, you know, what beach they came from and what year they were born. Uh Um, And basically after 10 years after he did this initial study, he realized that his turtles, which at that point in the seventies and um, late sixties, they thought that turtles were only like 10 years old when they came up to breed. Mm -hmm. And so 10 years had passed and he was finding turtles like this size in Kondamuka Morton Bay and realized that it's going to be a long time before a turtle this size is going to get to a turtle that's like a meter long (laughs) and that's the size of the turtles that come up onto the beach to nest and so like it's a lot longer of a project than what he initially thought Mm -hmm. but yeah that's basically how they managed to figure out when um, wild green turtles uh, reach sexual maturity was based off studies like that where they were actually able to notch individual turtles from hatchling all the way until they were adults um but it's a mammoth effort project like you have to be significantly invested into sea turtles in order to um to do that so but obviously he didn't know that when he signed up for it he was he thought it was going to be a 10-year project so yeah 